How do binary numbers work? Decimal numbers are all around us. When you check the time or the temperature, you are using the decimal number system. It is the number system we count in. But what about binary? When you use your computer or phone or pretty much any electrical gadget, these devices are using a digital data system based on binary numbers. So what are these binary numbers? Firstly, we should look at how the decimal system works. The decimal system takes its name from the Latin root dec, meaning 10. This is because it uses 10 symbols for the numbers 0 to 9. If we need to count higher than 9, we simply create another column on the left, place a 1 in it, and continue counting 0 to 9 in the right-hand column. Once we reach 19, we've run out of digits for the right-hand column, and so we bump the left-hand column up to 2 and start again. This keeps going until we reach 99. At this point, we create a third column, put a 1 in it, and reset the two right-hand columns. This keeps on going forever. Each time our existing columns all reach 9, we create a new column on the left and put a 1 in it. This method of counting means that each column is worth 10 times the column to its right. In our example here, we have the number 5,428,103. The 3 represents 1s, the 0 represents 10s, the 1 represents 100s, and so on. So how do binary numbers differ? Well, in the binary system, there are only two digits, 0 and 1. We start off in the same way as for decimal, with 0 and 1. When we get to 2, however, we have a problem. In binary, we can only use the digits 0 and 1, so we need to create a new column to the left and put a 1 there. The right-hand column resets to 0. For 3, we increase the right-hand column to 1. For 4, we've now filled our existing columns with 1s, so we reset these and create another column on the left to put a 1 in. We then continue counting from the right-hand column again. While for decimal each column was worth 10 times the column to the right, for binary, because there are only two digits, each column is twice the size. This means the first column on the right counts 1s, the second column counts 2s, then 4s, 8s, and so on in powers of 2. To convert into decimal, we just add up the appropriate powers of 2. So for our number here, we have 1s in the 64 column, the 16 column, the 8 column and the 1 column. Adding these together, we get 89 in decimal. So why is binary important? Its main use is in computing. As our devices run on electricity, they have two obvious states, on or off. As the binary system has two values, we can easily match these up with on and off circuits making binary very useful indeed in the modern world. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the Doing Maths channel or check out some more of my videos by clicking on the links here.